Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Today I want to talk to you about my experience with alcohol and what it's done to my life and cutting it out and how it's changed my life drastically and what you can expect from cutting out alcohol from your life. So as most American kids, I started drinking in high school, which is not the smartest thing for development and brain development, but I did it, social pressure, things like that, it was fun. Until uh, about the time when I finally became 21, I started getting sick from alcohol specifically and never really got to enjoy it that much. And seeing how it affected people, made people turn worse, seeing people's emotions go haywire, many of my friends doing really silly shit, not fun shit, but stupid shit, uh, just because they're under the influence of alcohol. And over the time, I just never grew particularly fond of it because of that and I mean it does make you feel good and things like that but there are some health benefits to cutting it out uh, like not shrinking your brain killing brain cells protecting your liver protecting your pancreas uh, not hindering your immune system making you susceptible to HIV and other things like that messing up your gut flora uh, and the microbiome and you can see all the other downsides in the the description below I have a link there of all the 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 health downsides you get from drinking alcohol. Uh, and then there's the moral reasons, uh, how sex and women, women are uh, described in alcohol situations and sexual abuse and rape and how many people die every year from alcohol poisoning or driving under the influence and things like that. It's just kind of messed up. Uh, but really most of the benefits that I saw in my life have changed uh, in the social aspect when I cut out alcohol. And most people are like, wait, are you crazy? Don't your social, doesn't your social skills get worse? Um, because you're not able to, to talk as much, you're not able to interact, you don't have a drink in your hand, things like that. Well, that's kind of bullshit is what I'm here to tell you. Uh, because like any other skill, Let's say basketball, for example, you're learning how to play basketball for the first time. You wouldn't go and take a couple shots before playing basketball, uh, would you? You'd be stumbling all over the court. You might even break your leg. And the learning curve there would be absolutely horrible. You, you wouldn't learn anything. And just like basketball is a skill, social skills are a skill, of course. And so when you're trying to learn something and improve on something, and you're under the influence of an intoxicant like alcohol, you're not really picking up on the little cues, the passive uh, things that you should be learning when you're learning social skills. And you may need every time you go out a, a drink to talk to someone. If you see a girl in the bar and you want to talk to them, you may need a drink to talk to them. Or you're at a conference and you want to talk to that lead guy, that CEO of some company and make a connection, well, you might need a drink to build up the confidence. And that's something I really didn't want in my life. And when I cut out alcohol and just started doing things without anything that helped me uh, be under the influence to, to approach people, to get rid of that approach anxiety, I became so much better at talking to people and my confidence got so much better on top of all my the health uh, health problems and the sleep problems and things like that went away. But the social benefits were even better. And I felt better. I remembered everything. I, I didn't wake up hungover and things like that. And it's just a great feeling knowing that you don't have to rely on something else to change your state, to make you feel happy, to get you out of the depression or whatever it is, uh, to enjoy time with your friends, to go dance. You don't need that alcoholic beverage to do it. It's an amazing feeling. So my call to action to you today is just try maybe 30 days. I know J uh, James Swanwick has uh, put in the description below a 30 day no alcohol challenge and I highly encourage you to try that. So thanks guys for watching and stay beautiful.